And this is where the term dew point temperature comes in. Dew point temperature is simply the temperature the air would have to cool to in order for relative humidity to become 100% or the air to be fully saturated. So that's what the dew point temperature is. Now, oftentimes when you watch the local news and the local weather comes on and the meteorologist talks about the high dew points or the oppressive dew points and usually shows a map similar to this where anywhere in the 60 to 70 range would be considered oppressive humidity or very, very humid air and dew points that are 50 and below would be dry air and even in the 20s, dew points in the 20s would be extremely dry air. That means that the temperature would have to cool to, if you're in the desert, 20 or 25 degrees, let's call this Fahrenheit. And if the temperature is 100 degrees during the day, well, that means it has to cool off 80 degrees overnight, which is pretty unrealistic. But if you go to the northeast or anywhere along the east coast where they have hot and humid summers, if you look at a place like Boston or even down in Florida, and we all know how humid Florida can be, especially if you have ever been to Florida, if you were in Disney World and the outside air temperature was 70 degrees and the dew point temperature was 65 degrees, well, that means that the air only had to cool by 5 degrees in order for relative humidity to be 100%. And for the air to cool 5 degrees is actually very easy. And that could be something as simple as a quick rain shower. So that is what dew point is, and that's how it plays a role on atmospheric moisture.